Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to check um, for typos and check that you have a um, good number of responses with a good re uh, distribution. So uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to run descriptive statistics and we're going to do a histogram. To do that you, you go to your data set, you go to the menu analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and you're going to select the dependent variable the independent variables you're going to click on statistics select the mean the median the mode the minimum value and the maximum value then click continue then go to charts, look for the histogram, select the histogram and check show normal curve on histogram to see what, uh, give us an idea of the distribution of the responses. Click continue and click OK. Then in the output window, we're going to see that there's a frequencies table. In this table we can see how many cases are valid, how many of them responded. As we can see we have two missing values in this variable. That means that probably the respondents didn't answer one or two. They're going to be automatically excluded from the analysis so we don't have to do anything right here. Um, we're going to see the mean value for each of the variables. We're going to see the median. We're going to see the mode and also very important we're going to see what the minimum value was for each of the variables and what the maximum value was for each of the variables this is important especially if you're uploading a data set from Excel that you manually coded let's say you did, you did a paper and pencil survey and you had to go and click one for strongly disagree two for disagree and so on and so forth and you have that excel sheet well there are many cases that we make mistakes and we type 11 instead of 1 and so on uh, right now I'm showing you how to do this step with the summated scales as you may understand this step uh, is typically done uh, for every single variable before averaging the variables um, right now uh, I'm not going to give you enough time in the exam to do everything so I'm just going to ask you to show me that you know how to run the descriptive statistics and how uh, you can check um, that you have enough variance in the responses so as you can see you, c uh, you will be shown the different values so we know that goes from 1 to 7 we, we see a nice distribution of the responses and as we would expect most of the responses will fall in the middle and the extremes have um, uh, fewer responses that's consistent with what we would expect so the histogram is nice because we can check that we have enough variance in the responses if everybody just answered four or if everybody just answered one that would be much uh, difficult to um, interpret and it's going to be hard for the software f to, to capture uh, correlations just remember a correlation put your hands together and if one of your hands stays still and the other one goes up and down then um, that means that there's no correlation so we look for this shape in the curve trying to see if that most of the responses and in the middle here um, even though we have some uh, responses right here we still have some variants so we have that means that we have responses different responses all over the place that's a good thing so these look good and um, and I'm confident to continue with the analysis now in the exam I may ask you to uh, show me the distributions and tell me if you think that there's enough variance there there's variance in the responses so what I'm gonna ask you to do is to copy and paste 
these tables maybe or the graphs now to copy this you're gonna position you're gonna select the table or the graph you want to copy if you want to copy several at the same time then you can do that right so you just select different ones at the same time you can do one at a time so just go right click say copy special and make sure that image is selected okay. image has to be selected click OK you go to your word document and you um, click on the paste option paste special and then say picture and uh, what's going to do is it's going to give you um, uh, the the graph or the table and the good thing about being a picture is that you can reduce the size of it so you can fit several in one page <coughs> uh, so that's it so as you can see the instructions say well run the descriptive statistics the frequencies do the histograms you already did it you look at the output you decide that all the variables have enough variance they all have like this kind of shape of normal curve so that's a good thing so my conclusion would be we can use all of them all of them show uh, good characteristics to be included in the analysis um, if you see that one of the variables has only ones and has no variance then you can think that that was not uh, a good variable for the analysis but in this case all of them are good for the analysis and that's um, you're ready to go to the next section Okay, now go ahead and practice and then go to the next video. To the next video.